Hello, I'm Abyx Soycam. Welcome back to the video. Today I have some really fascinating statistics regarding Minecraft. And I know that's not a sentence you get to hear very often, and it might not sound very fascinating, but today we're going to be working out how people really play Minecraft. Because the Xbox Live system recently added a function, kind of like the PlayStation equivalent, where you can work out how many people have unlocked a given achievement. So if we scroll down to, say, uh, the achievement for, you know, uh, crafting a uh, flower pot or placing a music disc in a jukebox, we can work out that 15% of players have, you know, placed a disc in a jukebox at some point in survival to unlock this achievement. And because we know that's based on anyone who's connected to Xbox Live while playing this game, we can work out that that's a pretty reliable statistic. And the really interesting uh, you know, thing about this information is we can then use that to work out how people are really playing Minecraft. Because it's very different to how you might figure. And uh, it also covers four separate platforms. And I figured I just had to share it with you all because I was so fascinated by it. And I figured some of you might be too. So hopefully you do all enjoy this video. I like it if you do because it helps out the channel. And let's know you do like this sort of video. But with that said, let's get straight into pretty shall we? And let's start by talking about the four editions of Minecraft we're covering. It's the free six it's the one, it's the Pocket Edition and iOS, and it's the PE and Android. Again, all of these are kind of measured by how many people have logged into Xbox Live on those platforms, not just all of Android player, you know, Pocket Edition Android players, it's all PE Android players that have an Xbox Live account logged in. I think you kind of need to do that nowadays, but not that's not necessarily all players, just everyone that's on a slightly more hardcore level. And on these particular examples, you have to have connected to Xbox Live at least once. So uh, yeah, the, the reason that's so relevant is because if we go into the games, one of the most fascinating things you immediately find out, or it's not immediately, you have to go you have to scroll all the way down to the bottom but one of the most fascinating things to me to find out is if you look at the opening your inventory achievement because only 70% of players have unlocked this and you might think whoa only 70% of players that has to be wrong how are 30% of people not open their inventory inside Minecraft but I think there's a really easy explanation for this that gives us a really cool statistic because basically you can see that you know 6% of players don't chop down a wood block but that means that they're you know not playing you know like full-on survival they're just you know looking around someone's world that about makes sense but what about the 30% of players who have never opened their inventory well, I think they clearly have opened their inventory in some form, but I think the key distinction here is that it's in creative because when you play survival, you can get achievements. All of these require you to be in survival. However, when you're in creative, you cannot, which means that if you play only creative in Minecraft, you do not get this, which means we can work out from this roughly. Again, it's not a perfect science. I'd say it's realistically more like 29 or 28, but 30% of players have never played survival inside Minecraft. And that is nuts to me. You know, Minecraft started or at least got popular as a survival game and 30% of players have never experienced that on Minecraft Xbox One. Uh, the actual, It's interesting to me because the number of people where that's true on 360 is a little bit lower, maybe because the game's been out longer, so more people have just accidentally tried it and pressed Y by accident. But yeah, if you look over here, you can see how 77% of players have got it, but that still means even on the 360, out of the 20 million copies that have been sold, roughly, again, it's not a perfect science, but roughly 5 million players have never played Minecraft Survival, and that is uh, pretty nuts to me. But that's not where the uh, nut stuff kind of stops because if we then go to the pocket edition again this is the best-selling version uh, again out of players who have xbox live so this is the more hardcore segment of the audience there out of the players who have xbox live you can see how only i think it's a little bit out there at the bottom only 52 percent of people have ever opened their inventory inside survival and that is that that's where things get really crazy to me because that means almost half of players don't care about any achievements don't care about any of the survival stuff they're just playing to build around which i think again kind of shows the audience difference gap between the pocket edition and the console Absolutely crazy stuff, but that's just the start of today's video. By the way, as an interesting side note, more players on iOS, like I would have figured, you know, more Android players would have played survival, but no, as it turns out, more uh, more iOS players actually have opened their inventory than Android players, which is a, a kind of a weird thing. But yeah, let's look at the rest of the achievements because there's way more data to be found here, uh, such as, for instance, uh, if we go to the most recent achievements, which only came out uh, about a week ago, as I'm calling this, maybe a week and a half as it goes up. Um, so they came out on the, the very end of January, as you can see right here. All of these brand new achievements have 1% of players who have unlocked them and you know by, by itself you might think that's kind of suspicious well the way their system works is it rounds up or it rounds down to the nearest percent which means all of these realistically have less than one percent no not a single one of the brand new achievements has more than one percent which means we can probably work out they all have you know either just over one percent or quite a bit under one percent and the reason that this is so interesting is that it either means that most people can't do these new achievements because you know they're all relatively vague things or we can work out that only one percent of players are still playing minecraft this day i probably wouldn't assume that second one given that you know a lot of these are tumble but it does still mean that a lot of players you know because given that you know even the latest batch of achievements from uh, the uh, the hunger games uh, sorry the battle uh, expansion as you can see down here a lot of people still have those which makes me think that a lot of players don't play minecraft regularly or 
you know, a lot of console players have quit, perhaps. It's hard to say which one it is, but it is still very interesting. Like, 8% of players have done that, which, again, makes sense. E even if you're a survival Minecraft player, you might not care about these minigames, but only 8% of people do, which is, a way you know, again, it's a slightly lower number than I would have figured, and in some respects, it's a higher number, because that means that, you know, at least 8% of players have logged in in the past six months, decided to play Battle, and been good enough at it, good enough at it to win, which, you know, y you might think it's easy, you will eventually win, but you have to play a lot of games to win if you're new to the idea of PvP, and that's kind of interesting by itself. But yeah, then if we then look at Tumble, you can work out that, you know, either, again, either less than 1% of people are still playing, or most people just never play Tumble and don't care about these, because this one is the easiest achievement to get out of the bunch. If you play any games of Tumble when you just happen to win, you'll get this one because you'll almost certainly be there, and only 1% of players, or less, have it, which is uh, pretty nutty, right? But yeah, with that said, let's talk about some other achievements, which blew my mind, about how people really play Minecraft, uh, because it's to do with, uh, you know, certain achievements to do with, um, so there, yeah, there are a lot of achievements for doing certain milestones, such as baking a cake, which only 6% of players have done. You know, it's actually a re relatively easy recipe, but only 6% of players have ever done this, compared to, for instance, uh, if we then compare that to, you know, librarians, so 9%, but the one that blew my mind is the brewing a potion one. At 10%, so more people care about brewing a potion on the console than care about, uh, you know, baking a cake, but that even then, 10% of players actually care about doing that, despite, you know, 70% of people playing survival. Most people, you know, 6 in 7 players, uh, my mind statistic just says, uh, 6 in 7 players never get to the stage where they brew a potion, and, uh, you know, if you look at some other uh, pretty big ones, most players don't know you can, or don't, or can't, cannot in some way, uh, you know, destroy the gas they're fireball. A lot of players, uh, you know, never go to the never, like, again, almost 6 in 7, and that's uh, kind of bizarre to me, the fact that, you know, Minecraft always adds the, you know, these late game features are the things I love, and a lot of you guys love, and that, you know, we, uh, people request and that added to the game a bunch, but most players never even get to this stage, which is kind of weird. But yeah, uh, you can also see stuff about how people explore, but the thing that I, I found kind of interesting is, uh, like I said, so on console, 10% of players have brewed a potion, versus 6% who have made a cake, but on the Pocket Edition, if we then compare, uh, the, the weird thing that you can see as a comparison there, is on the Pocket Edition, okay, so let's go to, let's go to the Android version for now, uh, it's slightly different to the iOS one, uh, actually, no, wait, wait, we'll use iOS, because I've actually got both on there, if I'm not mistaken, but yeah, if we then look at iOS, where, you know, again, it's it's the exact same game, but it's, uh, it's slowly updated differently, but since Xbox Live was added, they've both been in the game, both cakes, which less than 1% of players, or roughly 1% of players have, uh, compared to Brewing a Potion, which if I'm not mistaken, is also super, super low down, so... Maybe I haven't done it yet. I, I thought I had. But <laughs> if we find Brewing a Potion in here, uh, then you see that how, how it's actually a surprisingly low thing. Um... So maybe it's, oh, I guess what it must be is it must be one I've just uh, missed out. But yeah, that, that was one of those really bizarre facts to me because, uh, yeah, you, you assume, you know, you just kind of mentally assume, what, do I really not have it? Okay, but, you know, you, you assume that, you know, most players would play the same across their platforms. But as you can tell, not only do less people play survival on the Pocket Edition, but if they do play survival, way fewer people are likely to construct an enchantment table. Again, that's just kind of the start of the, the whole late game stuff. And, uh, you know, less people are likely to brew a potion, which we'll find right now. Again, I, I'm, oh, there we go. Brew a potion, 1% of players have ever done this, which is, again, there's this whole segment of the game. One of the, some of the biggest updates uh, since, you know, like in, in the past six years, most of the features they've added have been somewhat late game, and most of them have been ignored by most people who play Minecraft, and that's kind of a weird thing to realize, because, you know, I love playing the super late game stuff, and I know a lot of you do too, um, but these guides are for a really, really tiny segment of the, uh, you know, the gaming population, so only 2% of people have powered a furnace of lava, and uh, to me at least, that's some pretty bizarre stuff that um, I found interesting, maybe all of you do too, and uh, if we look through some of the other ones, like, uh, you know, after 50% of people who have played survival, most people get bored before they craft, a, you know, a wooden bench, so that's kind of interesting even more people get bored before they can, you know, upgrade their pickaxe, and you can just kind of see how people either get bored or stop caring because they're working on something else, and uh, that's uh, very interesting stuff to find out with these percent of gamers, uh, you know, unlocking this uh, stuff, and yeah, it's something that I found interesting, maybe you all did too, or maybe you're kind of bored that I'm just talking about numbers, so if that's the case, then how about I tell you a, jo a joke about the end in Minecraft? Actually, never mind, it will just drag on Ha uh, ha uh, ha uh, ha. Uh. And I hope you all enjoyed the video. Like if you liked it. Share if you really liked it. And subscribe if you're new around here. Let me know in the comments down below if anything in here will like kind of blew your mind in a similar level. Because I was... I, again, this this really changes my perspective of how people do play the game. And uh, I, I hope you all have maybe two. Anyway, hope you all enjoyed it. Because I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.